My name is Stu. How do you do? So we're just gonna, I'm just going to get warmed up here, and I'd like to play uh, an old drinking song that was made popular by Jimmy.
much. That song was called Black Ice. And with Joe Swain, we're going to play a piece that I wrote called uh, The Book of Lies. And a lot of people have asked me what that means. And by a lot of people, I mean three losers on the internet with nothing better to do. So I thought I'd, I'd clear that up for all those taste geeks out there. It's not about the Green Day tour. What it's about is that when we're traveling on the road, they give us a little booklet. Now, of course, it's an app about what, telling us all our life, like what time we're going to leave for the venue, what time soundcheck is, what kind of beer there's going to be backstage. And it's all fucking lies. Every bit of it. And if you check in to the hotel and just run across the street from the venue, then you're fucked. Because it just means something else is going to go disastrously wrong.
Bill Taylor on the drum. Woo! Originally from Wyoming. Currently representing Altadena. Joe Taylor. On guitar, representing San Diego, which I like to call Indianapolis by the sea. Now representing Sherman Oaks, California. That's Jimmy Times, right there. This is a song about a mountain in northern Maine. Raise your hand if you've ever uh, climbed Mount Katahdin. Okay, now, okay, anyone here that ever grew up, lived with their parents? Raise your hands if you lived with your parents. Okay, convicted of a felony. Raise your hands if you were convicted of a felony. How about if your first homosexual experience was in public? Raise your hands. Come on, let me shine. But actually, the song is not about the mountain. It's, it's about... Uh, Getting to the bottom of the mountain.
about my favorite place on planet Earth. It's called You Will Be Overlook. Between Pelican and it's Vincent Beach on Route 1. But you knew that. But you didn't know that. Okay. I'd like to play uh, a song. I do it with Joel here. Big guy with Joel Taylor right there. This song is, is about not such quite a cheery topic. It's based on the great novella by J.G. Ballard. It's called Terminal Beach. It's about the after effects of nuclear war.
gonna play the first song I ever recorded on my first record, and it had that was a drum solo all through the whole song. Anyway, it's our band meeting. Uh, this is the first song of my first record that featured Alan Holdreth and Joe Satriani on guitar. Reflect how I got Jamie Kahn. Thank you. 
time on the guitar. Uh, you know, early in my career, I played, um, made a living solely as a guitar player for Italian American guitar players who had eyes at the end of their names. Christy Fai, Joseph Triani, Frank Gambale. Uh, but so they all, they all wrote like this boogie song, right? And I think Steve started with, uh, well, Van Halen started with Pop the Teacher. And then Steve did the audience is listening. And then I must have played Satch Boogie 18,473 times <laughs> in my life. So I figured I had to write my own goddamn boogie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's called the Obligatory Boogie. I know some prog rock crews, but this is all 4-4. Four, four. It'll be all right. I
Bob on guitar. Bill Taylor on the drum. My name is Danny Bonatici. Would you like to hear one more? Yeah. I didn't write this one. And I also had to change the way that I introduced the song. Uh, because uh, what could become apparent? I just had this great long intro. And then, God damn it, I got sober. So I had to change my whole introduction to this song. Uh, so all I can say now is, I guess, smoke them if you got them, because this plane's going down. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.